And with the play clock winding down, we're going to get a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Explosive player in the NFL when he gets his hands on the football, and that was exhibit A. Second down. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Throwing again. Wilson looking middle, and it's incomplete. Chris Carson, the intended receiver, and it's third down. Brings up a third down and 10 yards to go. Again, Wilson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Carson. And he is in for the Seattle. Touchdown. A yard touchdown. And the Seahawks are now just an extra point away from moving out in front. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. Well, oftentimes makes people miss because that run after the catch. And off he goes. And into the end zone. Tough there. Good pass. Hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. Every receiver's coach everywhere. Seeing that play. Focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. 
he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light thing. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. This time they're able to get him behind the line. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. at the 34-yard line. It's a gain of two yards, and it's third down. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Now Mahomes. He'll buy some time right. A screen to Bell. And he's going to get the first down as he covers up after a pretty good shot there. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And his throw's going to be incomplete. He was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill that time. And it's second down. Brings up second and ten. Now this will probably be the last play of the quarter. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Forced out to him, and he is going to go down. They sack him on the final play of the first quarter. These two teams all tied after one. After the sack, things get a little tougher here. Third and long for Mahomes and the Chiefs. Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First catch there for Hill, and he's got a first down. Looking for Kelsey on the deep ball. And you know, like this. Line, the catch is made. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Travis Kelsey, 46 yards. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. For as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. Man, this league where coordinators worry so much about turning up the right routes, blocking assignments, misdirections and stuff. They have these precise arrows and movements. Sometimes the best players just come from the school yard where you look at your fastest guy and say, go long, go get it, big man. And the next-gen stats show him reaching at a top speed of 20 miles an hour. So they hit the ball before they went 10 yards. I know that's tough, but you got to stay disciplined. It is difficult because you're so eager to go get the football. It's that type of a play, but you're exactly right. Have to have the discipline to let it go 10 first. On first down, Wilson. He's going to take off for them. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line. Pass, 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 pass. over out of bounds. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. First and 10 at the 30-yard line. Now it's Wilson dancing to his left. He'll run it. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Out, a nifty out, bit out, of scrambling out, there. 12 yards, first down. First and 10 at the 17-yard line. Draw play. This is Carson. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Loss of a yard. Brings up second and 11. 
at the Chiefs' 18-yard line. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Seahawks, a two-point conversion away from tying the game. For the two-point conversion. Not the first time on this drive we saw him take matters into his own hands, and this time he finishes things off with a touchdown run. You're not going to be happy with me, but I think he took matters into his own feet, didn't he? No. Let's go. Let's go. I like it. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. out of the back of the end zone so we will start here at the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. There have been points on the board. We just saw back-to-back -to -back touchdown drives. I love it. I'm high-fiving our statistician Christian McLeod and you, you're, you're angry. You're a defensive guy. If you met one of my defensive coordinators, God rest his soul, I'm surprised he isn't in this booth right now wanting to really take you on. This is not football the way he sees it. He wants a good old Kicking game, defense, field position, and we're getting an up and down the field game here. I'll take him. Where's where's his tombstone? <laughs> Boot Hill, baby. Another good game. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. And a short game there down to the 37-yard line. And before the second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. That's their second, so they'll have one remaining here in this second quarter. We'll be right back. Game clock at 2.01. Time for one final play before the two-minute warning. On second and seven, Mahomes. They're going deep for Hill. And that is caught. Touchdown, Kansas City. Tyreek Hill. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Chiefs have broken our tie as they take the lead. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. Intercepted. And he will bring this all the way back out to midfield. Take extra point. Harrison Butcher in a kickoff for Kansas City. Now after the touchdown, here's Butcher on to kick it away. This is taken just shy of the 10. And he won't quite make it to the 25. At their own 24 yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And they're hoping to redo their efforts of the last drive when they got to the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view. Than Touchdown, Seattle! Greg Olson, 76 yards. And the Seahawks are now just an extra point away from moving out in front. Pete Carroll in that familiar hands-on-knees pose. His guys will go for two here. Now it's Wilson, flush to his right. And he is into the end zone to give him a two-point lead. So the single power doing it himself there on the two-point try. You got to like that. We always talk about the ball staying in the hands of the best players. But most of the time, you want to get it to a back, pitch it to a wide receiver. In this case, the quarterback did it himself. to the 13-yard line and no further. The conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority and they bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light there. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like you had green on that play. Just not much to be had there. One yard out to the 10. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. And not much there at all. 
Bills. He'll get this only up to about the 11. Now look at this, fourth and 12, and they're going to line up to go for it. It's now a fourth down. and a flag down. Looked like one of the chief linemen might have moved. Here's the Chiefs punter now. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. Returning it is Moore. Hold a 54 yard punt, 13 on the return. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. From midfield now, here's Wilson. They'll roll him out right. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Final play of the half. It's Wilson going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. It's the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. Here we go. Here we go. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And how about this right out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we go back in the, in the second half. The Chiefs offense are not set to begin this drive. And we have seen a lot on the scoreboard here in this quarter. So, you see that you're talking about tendency breakers on offense. These defenses struggling. Are there tendency breakers on defense? All defensive coordinators keep something in their hip pocket for these types of situations. What can we do to slow down the onslaught? But the biggest thing is make sure these guys encourage each other, pick themselves up, because right now it's been a really tough ball game trying to stop these offenses. Oh, it really has, especially as of late. Incomplete. Shaquille Griffin knocking it away that time in coverage. One thing that offensive guys stress when they throw the deep ball, you're just counting on your receiver to find it, adjust before the defensive back can get his head around. In this case, though, the DB matched it move for move and knocked it away. Mahomes going to go on fourth down. And going deep for Hill. And it's knocked away. He got Complete. Andy Reid went for it, but it won't pan out. And his defense is going to get the football back near midfield, right at the 48. They'll begin to drive the Carson. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Brings up second and nine. From the shotgun, Wilson rolling to his left. He finds his man, the tight end Olsen. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. First and 10 at the 31-yard line. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Left side complete to lock it. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. When you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read. You know, and I think the ball's out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. The rushing numbers for Wilson, maybe down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. 
That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. Throwing again on second down. Wilson. Now he'll pull it down. And he's brought down. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. The last drive, remember, similar situation. He forced the ball into coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer that's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down, take off, and go. Don't make something. And he will take this one in for the Seattle touchdown. Chris Carson, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. People always talk about one of his biggest strengths running the football vision, and he found the spot there, went into the end zone. You're exactly right about that. It wasn't just the vision, right? Once he saw the gap, decisiveness, made up his mind, and had the power to finish the play. Not only did he get good blocking, he created his own space as well. Jason, after the touchdown, here's Myers to move it away. Fielded in the end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, were the problem by the head coach. They give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like you had green on that part. Take this up only to about his 18-yard line. Just a couple on the ground there. That's going to bring up third and about six. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Throwing the out route and complete. It's Bell. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Back now in Seattle, Washington. It's the Chiefs with a football butt with work to do on the scoreboard. They trail as we start quarter number four. On play action, it's Mahomes. And going deep for Hill. This is caught inside the 15. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill. 68 yards. And the Chiefs are able to get this back within a touchdown. Patrick Mahomes, he can do everything seemingly. And that time, he just reared back and let it fly. Out to his left. And they're going to get the two. It's caught. And the lead is cut to two here in the fourth. Chiefs, 28. Harrison Butker to kick off four games Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Here's Reed returning. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And they've seen their lead nearly extinguished after that last score, but bottom line, they are still on top with the football and a touchdown on this drive. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off at the 38. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. A seismic shift in momentum here in the fourth quarter. That's the break that the defense needed. And you know as well as I do, people are going to question the play call in that situation. Sometimes you have to question the execution, not necessarily the call. And in this case, those defenders found a way to give their team a chance. Jamal Adams coming up from the safety spot to make the play. Second and six. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20 yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And the first down. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. Puna Ford on the stop. A gain of a yard. Brings up second and under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Out of the 
shot with the bell. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Tint on the dive, and he has him. What a catch. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Now Bell. And the Chiefs are going to be set up with a first and goal as good running gets him down to about the four-yard line. Agree, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. And he will take it on in down. for a Chiefs touchdown. Down. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Chiefs are going to jump back in up. front. Did you see them hold up four fingers to the start of the fourth quarter? They were ready. They were definitely ready. They may or may not have done that, but they certainly have played that way. The fourth quarter has belonged to them, and now the lead belongs to them as well. Meanwhile, this one knocked down in the backfield. It's incomplete. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. After the touchdown, here's Bunker on to kick it away. Here's Reed. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. The Seahawks take over first and 10. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And last time was a pretty one play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. And throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven at the Chiefs' 44-yard line. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On the move to his left. That's complete into the hands of Carson. Trotty! And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 17-yard line. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. And now all of a sudden, the shoe's kind of on the other foot. Maybe you pull the reins back here a bit? Yeah, a little bit because you got to make sure that you don't score too quickly. on first down. And he's got it. Clint Williams up with a Seahawk touchdown. Greg Olson. Beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Seahawks have once again taken the lead. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. Now Wilson. And this one's caught. And the fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. So they like to pass there on the two-point try. Sometimes can prove risky there on one down. Yeah, and I love how you bring up that it can prove risky because if you get it intercepted and they return it, that's two points for the defense, but not on that play. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal four and take it. The Chiefs take over first and ten. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not, because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late-game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Yeah, they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. It'll be a nickel look here for the Seahawks on third down. Back 
to throw. He's going to let it fly. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30 yard line. He's done that for you, man. That is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with that interception, huge. I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead, they found a way to make a play on that side of the ball and maybe finish things off. You have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. There's Wilson. Steps away. He's going to go up top for the end zone. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try and pass downfield. Yeah, he's going to see Seahawks first down is. They're able to get the third down conversion. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They run it with Carson. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Brought down at the 18-yard line. One-yard gain. 